Wow. 751 of One Piece. Wow. So Do Flamingo is coming. Do Flamingo is coming. Luffy is in a well with water. And you know Luffy can't swim. And Do Flamingo's coming. Oh shit. The only thing is, is like Do Flamingo's got devil fruit too. So I mean, this ain't gonna be a scenario where you know, one can drown and all that because they're both at a disadvantage. But who? They went looking for Doflamingo and Law said it himself. He said, like, if we don't get the, these uh, sea prism shackles off of me, I might as well be marching to die. And the deaf god Doflamingo himself has shown up. Damn, this next chapter is about to be nuts. This next chapter is about to be nuts, but I do got to say this, man. Like, the fact that Nico Robin apparently has some type of backup plan, I'm guessing it's got to do with those dwarves, to reach Luffy in a short amount of time. This shows, like, hey, it's about to get serious, man. It's about to get serious. And, you know, we don't know if this is going to be Doflamingo or one of his doppelgangers. And it's possible it's probably going to be a doppelganger. I mean, this is, it just makes sense. It just makes sense that this is a doppelganger and a way to test Luffy. I mean, this is going to be interesting, man. You know, for, for a second, it almost felt as if, you know, like the other guy from Block C set Luffy up. But I don't think that's the case. I think he was sincere at that point. I think he was sincere. But, I mean, it is suspicious that Luffy goes into a dead end. And now Doflamingo is there waiting for him. But, you know, with that being said, though, with that being said, I do want to talk about not Ace, uh, Sabo. Sabo. Holy shit. Like, the, normally the end of the chapter is like the stuff I geek out over the most. But it's actually Sabo. So when the chapter opens up, we see Sabo casually flexing where he essentially one-shots a vice admiral like it's nothing. Dude's swinging around that large-ass sword. Sabo's dodging. And then he says like, yeah, I got these dragon claws. He snaps the, the fucking blade in half. And he says, like, these claws are also strong enough to where I can crush a human skull like an egg. And then he proceeds to grab the vice admiral's head. And he's in the process of squeezing. And then the admiral just drops down these fucking meteors like we saw before. And how strong is this fucking birdcage? Because it slices the meteors into small pieces. So it's collateral damage all over the place. And Sabo's like, yeah, I'm still getting used to this devil fruit. Wasn't thinking I had to dodge. And you see he off-panel the fucking vice admiral. And so now you see it where he's staring down. He's chill. He's staring him down. And you get this really beautiful moment, right? This really beautiful moment where as they're staring each other down, you get this moment where he all of a sudden... It's like, yeah, I'm never going through this ever again. And so what happens is, to back up, is, you know, he says, like, hey, the Admiral, he's like, hey, I seem to recall the previous owner of the Flame Flame Fruit, Fire Fist Ace, who died in the Paramount War, being described as a sworn brother to Straw Hat. Now you claim the same title. And so Sabo says, the three of us shared ritual cups. We are linked by a bond that cannot be severed. A troublesome trio of brothers, if I've ever seen one. And all the Navy guys who are watching this are freaking out. They're going, what kind of bloodline did Straw Hat come from? A squad leader under Whitebeard and the number two revolutionary is his other brother. And Sabo says something interesting. He says, if Luffy ever asks for my help, it doesn't matter where I'm at. doesn't matter what title I hold. I'll always come to his side. And he thinks back to when he found out about the news about Ace. And you just see it. You just see it. Like, you see the, the poster where it says Ace dies. And you just see Sabo in grief. In utter grief. And everyone, the shadows of him. And that's showing that Sabo's darkest moment. And then you see Sabo th thinking to himself, I'll never go through that again. And he's covering up his eyes in an attempt to stop himself from crying publicly. And then when he gets himself back together, that's where he and the Admiral, they just, they, they just clash. 
they just clash. And it's just, it's like a, a meeting of titans. But you, you see one being bound by justice and another one being bound by the responsibility, the, the bonds that he has with his lone rem remaining alive brother. This is beautiful, man. This this is this is fucking beautiful. This is fucking beautiful. And once again, that's more foreshadowing. Because you're not gonna see a scenario where Luffy ends up being the one coming to Sabo's rescue, like he tried to come through for Ace. I think what's gonna happen is Luffy's gonna be in a, a fucking position, and Sabo's gonna be the one. Who ends up sacrificing himself for Luffy, just like Ace did. But I don't think that's going to result in Sabo's death. But I do think that Oda is once again planting more seeds. Something's going to happen with Luffy to where Sabo's got to come from. What that's going to be, we don't know. Maybe we'll see a scenario where the two brothers are fighting against the three admirals. Maybe that's the case. Maybe that's the case. But, you know, what's interesting is like when they say like, a, a, a deadly trio of brothers have ever seen one. Well, maybe this is just me. And again, maybe this is more admiral disrespect. I really feel as if, you know, if Ace would have lived, you know, these three brothers probably could have gained power that could have rivaled the three admirals. And I think that that's something that Oda is kind of backhanded teasing by showing just how well Sabo being driven by his emotions is able to hold off against an admiral. He's able to one shot a vice admiral and he's able to hold off an admiral despite not having full control over his devil fruit. And Luffy's gotten to a point now where Luffy's a lot stronger. He's got an understanding of hockey and how to use it. I mean, this this is huge foreshadowing. What if we get a scenario where it's Sabo and it's Luffy and Dragon against the three admirals. That could be something very special. That could be something special, man. And you know, Luffy being the 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 bond the bonded link between Sabo and Dragon. That would be cool. That would be cool. That'd be very symbolic. I mean, overall, this is a good chapter. I ain't gonna front, man. This is a really good chapter. I really like this. You know, the cliffhanger is interesting as fuck. But I could have done with a whole chapter just seeing. Uh, Sabo fight against one of the admirals. I could have, I could have did with a whole chapter. Have I mean overall, this is a pretty good chapter, man. But I don't know what you guys think about what I was saying earlier about whether or not if Ace had lived, if these three brothers would be strong enough to take on the three admirals at some point. Let me know what you guys think. But as always, guys, if you like anything I had to say, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching all the way into the end. Have an incredible day, guys.